money be spent on scholarships for youth offenders? A bill waiting for Governor Polis' signature does just that. Now, the story's got a lot of response on our Denver 7 Facebook page, and Jason Grenauer explains that this bill is creating a lot of controversy. Jason? Yeah, guys, it's, it's a simple concept, and it's also a pretty deep divide. Some say it's a second chance. Others say, why this group and not the majority of other kids in need who have followed the law? Having children who have had brushes with the law. Okay, you fill in the rest. Should be given a chance at a specialized scholarship for higher education or not? This bill on its way to the governor's desk would provide a scholarship program for youth offenders, up to $10,000 per person. The bill's sponsors, who named it the Colorado Second Chance Scholarship, say it can lower the recidivism rate and that this program could be the only opportunity many of these kids will have to get a fresh start. In my mind, I think that all children deserve a second chance. The state's juvenile offenders go through the Department of Human Services. Nina Castillo-Cohen works there in the Office of Children, Youth and Families. Anytime that a young person or an adult that is emerging is able to have a meaningful connection to work and education, it does help them really see forward what their future can be. But the disagreements came in strong online. Molly said, wow, so let's reward those who commit crimes, but not a scholarship for children of families in poverty. Eric added, this is ridiculous. Dan wrote, I don't want to pay for any offender's schooling. Kathy commented, so we should teach our kids crime really does pay? And even Nicole, who identified herself as a youth offender, said, give the scholarships to the kids that have chosen education. Now, the big question here, money. And monetarily speaking, this program would cost about $300,000 a year. There would be an advisory board that determines how much of the $10,000 a student needs and deserves. Again, it will become law if the governor chooses to sign it. Ann? All right. Thank you, Jason.